How do you do? Darlings and Farm here. Thought I would do a quickie review here of my Powermatic right there, model 2800 drill press. Um, it's a drill press. Uh, it works pretty well. Um, I can't really complain. Uh, it does have a nice little light. I don't know if you can see that or not. Light there and laser that uh, both the laser right out of the box came, was pretty dang accurate. Uh, the chuck is a keyless chuck. Oh, whoops, boy, that was lucky. <laughs> that was a carbide bit, too. Anyway, yeah. Um, yeah, the keyless chuck uh, would not stay on the spindle uh, when I first got it. I had to take some sandpaper and rough up the uh, tapered uh, spindle, um, so that was kind of a pain when I first got it. I almost destroyed a project because it popped loose and came down uh, while I had a, a router bit in it. Or a drill bit in it, rather, not a router bit. Right there, you can sort of see the lights. Uh, yeah, so other than that, after I, uh, you know, scuffed up the shaft and uh, smacked it on there with a uh, dead blow, it's uh, been a good machine. You've got uh, depth stop adjustments here, uh, which I do like and do use uh, most of the time when I am using this 35 millimeter bit in it. I've got a jig over here for cabinet doors that uh, resides on there most of the time where you just pop your door in there you know, pull it down, and you've got your uh, hole for your cabinet door. Um, pretty decent machine. Uh, I can't complain. Uh, the speed range right there is 3,000 RPMs to 4, 000, or 400 RPMs, rather. And it is continuously variable. Um, you just loosen the knob here and pull on it. And it goes all the way down to 400. And then you can't really force this, but you got to... Down there, 3,000. Um, right there, and then I generally leave it, you know, around 500 or so uh, for that 35 millimeter bit. It's pretty quiet, um, as you can hear. I will say, after it's been running for a while, you will start smelling some, uh, you know, hot rubber. I haven't taken the top off here to see if it needs any adjustment or anything. Um, it works. Um, the table down here is decent. Actually has a halfway decent fence on it. As you can see here, this fence is adjustable both in and out like this. And, uh, you know, the fence is adjusted in these tracks here. So it's pretty nice. Uh, the dust collection hood on it is actually not half bad. Um, it uh, does work when you're, uh, you know, uh, when you're boring out hinges there. Um, the table the extension wings, the only thing that's kind of disappointing on it is these mounts are plastic, which is kind of crappy. Um, yeah, uh, the rest of it, though, is pretty good. This, these uh, extension wings are kind of, you know, the way they mount on is kind of crappy. Uh, I haven't really had any need to use the uh, angle there. Um, up and down is pretty smooth. I can show you that. It's just you know, pretty much like any other drill press out there. You just loosen up the handle there and then the crank you know, takes it up and down. Uh, that's about all I can think to say about it. Um, it does what it's supposed to do. Um, it does run off 110 or 220. Uh, this is the single phase version. I'm not sure if they run a three phase version or not, but, uh, you know, it's been a pretty decent. This is pretty much just as it came from the factory. Um, I ended up getting this really cheap. I found it on Amazon when they hit it on sale for like $400 off. Um, I think uh, normally it's about a uh, thousand bucks and uh, you know they had a uh, special on it where it was you know crap uh, it was about four hundred dollars off so I went ahead and bought it otherwise I don't think I would have spent the money on a Powermatic drill press but I just uh, you know got a really good deal on it so which is why I bought it and yeah it's it's been a good machine um, you know I don't use it a whole hell of a lot but uh, you know I do use it for uh, cabinet doors uh, and that's really about it um, I probably could have got away with a tabletop version, but I just got it, you know, really cheap, so that's why I ended up buying it. And uh, I do figure uh, once I get a, uh, a, a hinge machine, I'll probably just move this back out to the farm, which is another reason kind of why I bought a, a stand-up one like this is for, uh, you know, for more of the, uh, you know, machine shop type fabrication use is uh, kind of another reason why I bought it there. But yeah, that's, uh, that's it. It's, it works. It does what it's supposed to do. The wings are about the only flimsy thing that I don't like on it. So anyway, I'm Darlington Farm. Thank you for watching. Please comment, rate, co ugh, comment, rate, and subscribe. 
And just let me know if there's anything else you'd like me to do a review on or anything else you'd like to see here. And uh, anyway, thank you for watching.